I've been wearing uh, monthly disposable contact lenses for over 25 years with relatively few problems. Um, and then uh, in February last year, I, um, I've been, uh, I, I was sitting at home, having been out all day, and began to feel problems with, with my, my eye. And, um, it was sore and I couldn't, it wouldn't focus properly, so I took the lenses out and basically went to bed. Woke up in the middle of the night with the most amazing pain. Um, I never knew something was seriously wrong as opposed to just some sort of minor eye problem. Contacted the local um, out of hours um, NHS service uh, and they, uh, they rang me back and said you need to come into the um, A&E. I was seen there fairly quickly in a lot of pain, taking a lot of painkillers by that, that stage. And one of the questions I was asked at the um, the local hospital fairly early on, I said, well, I was a contact lens wearer. One of the junior doctors said, Do you screw in your contact lenses? And I said, Yes, nobody told me I shouldn't. Uh, or shower in my contact lenses. No, no one said, Don't do it. Um, so that, that then it all started to you know, make, make, you know, fall into place, I suppose. He, he suspected a canthamoeba, which was a, 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 um, a word I'd never heard before. The other consultant said you should ring Moorfields. He did ring Moorfields, and Moorfields said, if, he, if this, the patient can get here by four o'clock, we'll see him. So um, my wife, who was, was driving me around all the time, um, got in the car, drove straight to Mainline Station, got on the train to, to London, and we were in, in Moorfields by three o'clock. Um, and half past three, I was being seen, admitted to Moorfields. Uh, and they kept me in for a couple of days, and I was um, on drops around the clock. Uh, for a couple of days and then I was discharged. Uh, so well, compared with some people I was diagnosed quite quickly, really 10 days uh, after first experience of problem I got the correct diagnosis at, at Moorfields. Initially the pain was horrendous and until I was getting enough painkillers it was really, um, well, unbearable. I was, the pain was um, beyond anything I could, I could have imagined um, and I did, it, it it's, I'm not exaggerating to say that the pain on the first night when I was in Moorfields was um, made me suicidal. It was just so bad. I just said, oh, I can't put up with this. Fortunately, I managed to persuade them to give me some stronger painkillers and got through it. And, you know, it, 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 it got better after a while, but initially, the first few weeks, tremendous pain, um, light sensitivity. I, I spent four weeks basically in a darkened room, except when I was going out to um, medical appointments. Um, not able to read, not able to watch television, um, not able to use a computer for four to six weeks, I suppose, really. So going out in, in, in bright, in any, in, even in ordinary daylight, that bright sunshine was, was really not possible or very difficult. Something that needed to be done for really serious reasons. Uh, good, needed a good reason to go outside. Um, so as well as the pain, light sensitivity, yes, tiredness, um, Perhaps tiredness because of the infection, but also tiredness was very difficult to sleep with, with, with so much pain. So I, 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 I did manage to get a prescription for proper sleeping tablets, which I took a few times to, so I got some, I got some sleep um, occasionally. I didn't drive for nearly six months. Uh, when you've been used to driving, you drive suddenly driving with one eye is, is, is problematic anyway. So that, you know, I was, it was six months before I felt confident. I was discharged from the uh, seeing local consultant uh, in October, this is about six months after um, first diagnosis. But by that time I, I really knew I'd got a um, cataract in, in the infected eye, which was, which was uh, the vision was deteriorating quite markedly. Um, and I, I could actually see, could tell that it was getting worse week by week, which is not what normally happens when cataracts come on slowly, and this was you know, uh, deteriorating you know, um, quite um, noticeably. So that was done in March, uh, about, which is 13 months after the original infection. had to wait until it was satisfied the cornea was stable enough for the, for the cataract operation. Um, took, a long, took a bit longer than normal to heal from the cataract operation, but once it was healed, it's been fine. So I've now got a functioning right um, eye again. Residual problem is still very, still light sensitive. Um, I, you know, I, have, I, I go out normally wear a hat. A white brimmed hat, even even when the sun's not shining. Um, certainly, when the sun's shining, I need a hat and dark glasses.
classes. It's difficult to read long passages. I, can, I, can, I can't read for very long. I can, I can um, read short, short passages or short sections for a while and then have to stop. Uh, I can use a computer, but, but reading text on the page is, is, is a problem. I've stopped swimming. I can't, find, I couldn't, can't contemplate serious swimming. I, I might go in the water, but I won't swim. Um, I just couldn't face that. Um, I would never wear contact lenses again. I just, uh, the idea I find, I would find too, too, too frightening. Now, if anybody had told me of the risks of, of this infection, I would, I, I mean, I, I, well, I would, I would, I would have swum in lenses, no, I would have taken them out to swim and to shower, definitely. Um, I consider myself to have been fortunate to have got away with getting clear of it so quickly, having relatively probably two to three months of, of, of problems with pain and, and, and real real um, disruption, um, several more months of certain disruption, not being able to work much, not being able to drive. But here I am, um, I'm eight, sort of 18 months on now from, from the initial diagnosis and relatively few problems compared with a lot of people. So I was lucky. Lots of people haven't been and I do make all the contact lenses, whereas I come across aware of that. Thank you.